Hi everyone. Just wanted to do a video on my uh, hang on the back filter. I did a video of it um, a while back. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while. But about three weeks ago, I redid this 29 gallon tank, um, tore it down, completely redid it. And since I did that, I went ahead and uh, did the filter a little different. Before I just had some plants in the back like a lot of people do. Um, when I took it down I added some hydroponic uh, clay substrate or I'm not sure the exact name for it but you know and then planted the plants in that and so this uh, this filter you know was on the tank before and with just the plants in it and I thought this would be a little bit better for the plants maybe help them grow a little bit better um, the plants are doing okay the pothos is growing really good of course it, it grows and it just grows really good in any situation um, the light I got from Petco it's on clearance there's um, getting rid of most or all their uh, National Geographic products that's what this filter is it's a PF50 and uh, the lights just white and blue and so I came up with this idea for the glass um, I made a lid for my five and a half gallon beta tank that's now a 10 gallon beta tank I had extra glass left over and so this clip that it's clipped on is really rigid and doesn't move hardly at all so it won't fit on an aquarium even though it's for an aquarium unless it's just all glass there's no black uh, trim around it it won't fit on that and so I thought I'll just cut a piece of glass and stick it down in the filter that's what I did so I have a uh, I mentioned the pothos. I have uh, small cuttings of peace lily, a couple of them, and then philodendron. This is a tiny piece that only has three leaves. Hopefully, I can get that growing. A uh, piece of bamboo. I forgot what this plant is. Um, this is a plant you, you can buy at Petco or PetSmart or at your local nursery, I'm sure. Um, some people put this in their aquarium underwater completely submerged but it's not meant for that I can't remember the name of it I'm sure you know what it is You've probably seen it at the pet store another thing I did is uh, that little green piece there is bacopa it was floating around in the tank so I thought I'd just try to wedge it in there and see if it'll grow or not and I did the same with this little green piece here is uh, Anubius or Anubis and I want to see if it'll grow or not so the reason why I did this filter was um, not just for filtration it's not gonna it's not the best uh, filter because it's filled with plants I mean it of course it'll help filter the water and grow beneficial bacteria but I mainly did it for the look um, I wanted plants above my tank and I watched a bunch of videos and I like the one that I think it's one fish two fish ROC I hope I didn't say it wrong but she did a cool thing but I have two lights on my tank and I wouldn't be able to do what she did and so I just came, I just thought about doing this and also this plant here is a peace lily and it's uh, so that little clip is from a gravel vac it hooks to a bucket you put the hose down in there and then it holds the hose in the bucket I had an extra one so I clipped it on the back of the tank and stuck the peace lily in there and it's doing really good 
it's not growing as fast as uh, the pea silly I have potted in an actual um, pot with potting soil but it's it is growing Let's see if you can see the roots are there there's some white ones those white roots are from that plant but yeah so I think it looks all right um, I'll keep updates on as the plants grow or don't grow and then whichever ones grow great I'll keep those in there and maybe add I might add another plant just to see if I can get it to grow in there but the light seems to be bright enough um, this tank is by a sliding glass door so I can manage the light for it if I want to have light on it or not yeah that's just a quick look at the tank um, I am running no lid at the t at right now um, just to kind of get some more light down there plus I have really hard water and the lid gets uh, calcium deposits so bad on it so I'm limiting the flow of the filters so they're not splashing but I gotta clean that lid up and then probably stick it back on soon yeah that's just a look at the filter if you have any comments or questions go ahead and leave those and uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video